music belongs to the existence indeed belongs to the existence and we are musical instruments do not worry if harps break thousands more will appear we have fallen in the arms of love where all is music verily where all is music if all harps in the world were buried down is still inside the heart there will be hidden music playing do not worry if all the candles in the world flicker and die we have this path that starts to fire the song we sing a light foam on the surface of the sea of being while the precious gems lie beneath but tenderness in our souls is a reflection of what is hidden in the depths stop the flow of your words stop the flow of your words open the windows of your heart and let the spirit speak stop the flow of words open the window of your heart and let the spirit speak in our music will verily flow to infinite quantum filling you in our sanctum in our music will verily flow to infinite quantum filling your inner sanctum a verse from jalaluddin rumi when i am silent i fall into that space where everything is music again an excerpt from rumi when i am silent i fall into that space where everything is music indeed the space where you dwell in the moments of silence from there alone as pulse of the cosmos music evolves indeed the space where you dwell in the moments of silence from there alone as pulse of cosmos music evolves music is the pulse of cosmos it is the very being of the cosmos music belongs to the existence and musical instruments belong to you you are the musical instrument and this whole vast universe is the music and when you start thinking and playing with sounds music emerge and when you start thinking and playing with sounds music emerge verily music is the art of thinking with sounds music is the art of thinking with sounds music is the purest form of art therefore true poets and seers seeks to express the universe in terms of music the singer has everything within him the notes come out from his very life they are not materials gathered from outside he simply allows them to flow from within music is your own experience your own thoughts your wisdom your understanding if you do not live it it would not come out of you they teach you there is a boundary line to music but man there is no boundary line to art raise your words not voice raise your words not voice words are like rain and voice like thunder it is the rain that grows the flowers not thunder music can go higher and further away from the mind and when it moves away from the mind 
then it starts becoming closer and closer to peace and silence. One is musician only when he understands the sound of silence. And one who understands the sound of silence is capable of creating sounds which are synonymous with silence. That is the most miraculous thing. The musician has come to his full flowering. Beyond this, music starts the world of meditation. I am at the most just a passage for music to reach the instrument. I am at the most just a passage for the music to reach to the instrument. The instrument is subtle. This is the reason you do not see my musical instrument, because you do not see yourself, who you are, and whom am I playing my music. You hear the words, and you hear my silence, and naturally you feel a certain music surrounding me. That music is your response, your love, and your trust. In a way, I am not here. It has been long time since I left this small house that you know as me for eternity. It is the compassion of eternity that this small house still goes on continuing to function. It is also your love, your prayer, and your gratitude that helps this body-mind system to continue to function. It is your love that sustains this house for me to stay on. I do not have any desire to be fulfilled. Only certain works have remained unfinished. Otherwise, all is fulfilled. And when all is fulfilled, music arises. I do not have ambition. We take the present moment and squeeze the whole juice of it. Indeed, that is our religion. Wherever we will be, one thing is certain. We will recognize each other just by the style of squeezing the juice from the present moment. Faces may differ, planets may differ, and that does not mean anything. We have a key to recognize our people in their eyes, in their faces. They are always existential. This is the highest form of psychonomy. Each one of you is my instrument. Your instrument is mine. Your fingers playing on the instrument are mine. Can't you allow that? When words overflow, you hear my music. These words connect you to an indelible silence and the music comes from the beyond. I cannot claim any monopoly, any copyright on it. And you want to see my musical instrument? Just look at yourself as an instrument. Just look at your hands. In deep love, a synchronicity happens. You start doing things which my deepest being, you start doing things which my deepest being wanted to do. But I do not know music. I have never been a singer, not even a bathroom singer. I do not know singing. Instead, I am a song. I know not singing. You will have to sing in me. You will have to allow yourself to be totally available to me. You can dance and it will be my dance. You can sing and it will be my song. You can sing and it will be my song. 
You can play on instruments, but your fingers will be in synchronicity with me, and I am in I am in synchronicity with the whole. So it is just formal to say that you are my song, you are my music. I am just a small passage. The beyond comes through me to your eyes, to your hearts, to your voices. And because it is of the beyond, it has a tremendous capacity to transform you. And because it is of the beyond, it has tremendous capacity to transform you. I have not said a single word to you on my own. Hence I claim, can claim originality in the literal sense of the word. Originality means nobody else has it, only I am seeing it. That is the wrong meaning. Originality should mean it is coming from the origin. Origin of life, origin of love, and origins of existence. All that comes from the original source is indeed original. You give so much love to me. You have given yourself to me, your music, your poetry, your dance. What can be more valuable? You have trusted a stranger. What more can there be that you should feel ashamed? You should rejoice because all that you had, you had given it to me. Without holding anything back, you have given your heart. But perhaps you do not think that your song, your music, your dance, your love, your trust have any justification. But perhaps you do not think that your song, your music, your dance, your love, your trust have any value. They certainly are of greatest value. Although they do not have any price, they are valuable. You are not poor. Just not to have money does not make a man poor. Nor to have power, not to be a president or the prime minister of a country, does not make a man poor. What makes a man poor is not to have a soul. And your soul is so full of song, so full of dance, so full of laughter, there is no question of your feeling ashamed. You have given to me the richest gift that anyone can give. But perhaps you have not thought of it in that way. There are some of the richest people in the world who are so poor inside that all their money cannot make any difference. Their money is outside and poverty is inside. Anything from outside cannot destroy the inner poverty. The inner poverty is destroyed only by inner treasures. There are some of the richest people in the world who are so poor inside that all their money cannot make any difference. Their money is outside and poverty is inside. Anything from outside cannot destroy the inner poverty. Inner poverty is destroyed only by inner values, love, compassion, silence, prayer, and meditation. These are the things that make a person really rich. He may be just a beggar on the street. It does not matter. But even emperors will find themselves jealous of him. You are misunderstanding. Put the things right. Music is not something biological. It is not something concerned with your chemistry or psychology. Music is not even of the mind. Music is something, a space between mind 
and meditation. Music is a space between mind and music. It is one of the most mysterious phenomena. When you dwell in the space between mind and meditation and beyond meditation, then you become a passage for something to happen through you. And in that state, from that space, whatsoever flows out of you is music. It has the capability to transform you. To conceive of it in intellectual terms is almost impossible for the simple reason that it is beyond mind. But it is not yet meditation. Music can become meditation. It has both possibilities. It can come down and become mind. Then you are only a technician, not a musician. You may be playing perfectly on the instrument without any fault. But still you are only a technician. You know the technique perfectly and entirely, but it is not your heart and it is not your being, it is just your knowledge. In that case, music is not evolving out of your being. Music can go higher and further away from the mind and then it starts becoming closer and closer to peace and silence. One is musician only when he understands the sound of silence. One is musician only when he understands the sound of silence. And one who understands the sound of silence is capable of creating sounds which are synonymous with silence. And that is the most miraculous thing. Then the musician has come to his full flowering. Beyond this, music starts the world of meditation. Music can go higher and further away from the mind. And then it starts becoming closer and closer to peace and silence. One is a musician only when he understands the sound of silence. And one who understands the sound of silence is indeed capable of creating sounds which are synonymous with silence, that can create silence within you, that can connect you to your being. That is the most miraculous thing. The musician has come to his full flowering. Beyond this, music starts the world of meditation. In fact, as far as the East is concerned, the most ancient source say one thing definitely about music, and that is that it is it was born out of meditation. People who went deep into meditation, enjoyed the silence of it, loved the peace that seems to be unfathomable, loved the peace that seems to be unfathomable. They wanted to convey that you are far away than you think you are, far bigger than you think you are. You are as big and as vast as the whole universe, but how to see it? Words are very poor philosophical concepts, almost like beggars. The ancient meditators tried to find some way to convey their peace, their silence, their joy, and those were the people who discovered music. Thus music is the byproduct of meditation. But you can go both ways. Either from meditation you can come in music as an expression, a creative expression of your experience. Or you can go from music to meditation. Because music brings you closer and closer to meditation 
as music becomes immense silence, sounds emerging into silence, sounds creating deeper silences than you have ever known. Then you are very close to the boundary of your meditation. Music is certainly not in the same category as sex, although in the West and in the present day modern situation, music has fallen so low that it has come very close to the category of sex. Only that music is appreciated which provokes sexuality in you. Sex is the lowest point of your life energy. And if music is used to provoke sexuality, then naturally it has to fall to the same category. And really it does not come in the category of music. Superconsciousness is the highest point of your life energy. When music reaches superconsciousness, it provokes within you unknown territories, unexplored skies. It can become a door to the beyond. Just as it can become a door to the animal on the lowest, on the highest, it can become a door to the divine. Man is only a bridge to be passed. Man is only a bridge between the animal and the divine. You should not make your house on the bridge. Bridges are not for making the houses on. You have to pass on and from this shore to the further shore. Music is your creativity. It is an expression of your innerness. But we have lost contact with authentic music and slowly and slowly as humanity has become less and less interested in the inner world, its music has become lower and lower. The, con the contemporary music is absolutely the lowest that has ever existed. It touches you but it touches you at the lowest center of sexuality. The contemporary music is sexual and the classical music is spiritual. I would like you all to create music on the path of meditation or create music if you have found meditation as a language to express the science of it. Compared to classical music, jazz is also a lowest category because rather than creating a spirituality in you, it simply activates the sexuality. The great classical music takes you higher beyond your mind to silences which can give you a taste of meditation, taste of existence. Remember, nothing is an obstacle to the path of enlightenment. It all depends on you. You can make anything which is lowest, free from lower gravitation, lower gravitation of sexuality. You can make it connected with your higher centers of being and then it will not be an obstacle on the path of enlightenment. That will require effort and creativity. For that matter, anything that you do can lead along the path of enlightenment. As far as my people are concerned, they are going to enter enlightenment with any kind of music and anything they do. It has never been tried. Hence, it is a great challenge and that which is a challenge must be tried. Music is found in every known culture, past and present, varying widely between times and places. Since all people of the world, including the most isolated tribal groups, have a form of music, it may be concluded that music is likely to have been present 
in the ancestral population prior to the dispersal of humans around the world. Consequently, music may have been in existence for at least 55,000 years and the first music may have been invented in Africa and then evolved to become a fundamental constituent of human life. Each culture's music is influenced by all other aspects of that culture, including social and economic organizations and experience, climate and access to technology. The emotions and ideas that music expresses, the situations in which music is played and listened to, and the attitude towards music, and attitudes towards music players and composers all vary between regions and periods. This is an aspect of musical history. It is distinct subfield of musicology and history which studies music from a chronological perspective. It is probable that first musical instrument was human voice itself. The first musical instrument was human voice itself, which can make a vast array of sounds from singing, humming and whistling through to clicking, coughing and yawning. In 2008, Archaeologists discovered a bone flute in caves near Ulm, Universe, Ulm in Germany. The five-hole flute has a V-shaped mouthpiece and is made out of vulture wing bone. The oldest known wooden pipes were discovered near Greystones, Ireland in 2004. A wood lined pit contained is contained a group of six flutes made from yew wood between 30 to 50 centimeters long and these were tapered at one end but without any finger holes. They may once have been strapped together. Indian music is one of the oldest musical traditions in the world. Indus Valley civilization left sculptures which show dance and musical instruments. Some of them no longer exist. Like the seven hole flute, various types of stringed instruments and drums and drums have all been discovered from the ancient civilization of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro, the Indus Valley civilization, when excavations were carried out by Sir Mortimer Wheeler, the Rig Ved, has elements of present Indian music with a musical note, notation to denote the meter and mode of chanting. Early Indian musical tradition also speak of three accent and vocal music known as Samagan. Sama means melody and gan means to sing. The musical, the classical music of India has two traditions. The southern tradition known as Carnatic music and the northern tradition known as Hindustani classical music. India's classical music tradition is millennia long and remains important to the lives of Indians today as a source of religious inspiration, cultural expression and entertainment. Indian classical music is monophonic 
and is based on a single melody line or rag rhythmically organized through tals. Tal means when you clap the finger there is a sound that is known as tal. On the contrary, Carnatic music is largely devotional and majority of some songs are addressed to Hindu deities. There are a lot of songs emphasizing love and other social issues. In contrast to Carnatic music, Hindustani music was not only influenced by ancient Hindu musical traditions, Vedic philosophy and native Indian sounds were also by the Persian performance practices of Afghan Mughals. The origins of Indian classical music can be found in the oldest scripture, part of Hindu tradition, the Vedas, and some Ved contains all about music. There is another aspect of music which is Chinese music. Chinese classical music is the traditional art or court music of China. It has long history, stretching for more than 3000 years. It has its own unique system of musical notations as well as musical tuning and pitch. Musical instruments and styles are music, musical genres. Chinese music is pentatonic, diatonic. It has a scale of 12 notes to an octave, 5 plus 7 equal 12, as does European influence, influence the music. Silence is blissfulness in reality but not in dictionaries and I do not see that in actual existence it can be different to different people. As you become silent, you cannot be worried, you cannot be tense, you cannot be miserable, you cannot be noisy, you cannot be chattering continuously, otherwise how can you be silent? And when all these stupid activities are no more, silence simply clears the ground for blissfulness to be discovered. They are almost the same phenomena because they happen simultaneously. As you become silent, certain sweetness, a certain fragrance, certain beauty tune, spontaneously arises in you, but your silence should not be a repressed one. It should not be a repressed stillness. It should not be silent by force. If you are silent by force, if you have repressed your mind, then rather than doing meditation, you are doing gymnastics, fighting with the mind. It is possible you can force the mind to be silent, but then there will be no blissfulness. There will be just emptiness and a silence of the graveyard, not the silence of a garden. Something empty, not something overflowing. The silence that comes, that emerges out of meditation, is not an empty experience. It is very positive. It is overflowing positive. And what is there to overflow in silence except blissfulness? So please check. If your silence is not bringing blissfulness, then you are trying to have a wrong kind of silence. Blissfulness is the criteria. Then stop doing what you are trying to do. In meditation, silence comes on its own accord. 
you simply go on watching the mind without any control without any repression and silence comes suddenly just like a breeze and with the silence comes the fragrance of the flower that is your blissfulness it is your own fragrance which you were not capable of knowing because there was so much noise within the mind was creating so much of fuss thoughts were creating so many dark clouds emotions and moods it has become barrier between you and your real self when the barrier is removed it is as if you have removed the rock which was preventing a stream a fountain from overflowing and the moment you remove the rock suddenly the fountain bursts forth in a great dance of joy your blissfulness is not something that comes from outside it is springs from within just the rock of your mind thoughts miseries have to be removed it is not that you have to repress it because by repressing you will be repressing the fountain behind it to allow the moment rocks are removed the fountain bursts forth in a great dance of joy blissfulness begins to overflow in the absence of this by varying gestures choice of the words expressions you can assess the inner state of the person but how can you assess the inner state of the person where there are no rocks there are no thoughts no misery everything has vanished only the fountain is overflowing and there is a dance of joy this is the music it is in that state music is the pulse of the cosmos expressed through your inner being